What's up guys? It's your girl Eddie Elise and I'm back with another video. For those of you guys who are new here, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, but most importantly, hit that bell button so you are in tune with every single thing that I do and that I post. Um, as you guys can see by today's title, I'm showing you how I go from this to this. And yes, honey, I use all Diva Curl product. And before we get into it, before we start to make the magic happen, I want to do a full total disclaimer. I've used these products in the past before. I've used it for a while now. Um, I haven't experienced any hair loss. I haven't experienced any hair loss of texture. None of that stuff. None of that. I haven't <laughs> experienced anything. So I'm going to continue on and show you guys how I get it because I get this question so much. Okay. So for the first thing, we're going to take our Deva Curl diva deva tomato tomato it's the same shit i'm gonna take my microfiber cloth and i'm just gonna wrap it around the back of me because i just don't want my back to get wet that's just not a really good feeling for me i don't really like it so now that we have that situated we're gonna go ahead and take our spray bottle and make sure our hair is Soaked, honey. Soaked. I got this at Dollar Tree for like a dollar. You could buy it on Amazon. You could get the super expensive fancy ones for like $13, $20. Personally, I think this works just fine. And we're just going to make sure our hair is soaked. And guys, um, I've been to the Diva Curl hair salon a few, while, a few years back to get a Diva Dry Curl Cut or whatever it's called. And... Recently, I found a girl on Staten Island because I do live on Staten Island in New York. And her name's Sabrina. She does do curly cuts. She's the best ever. She used to work at Diva, Deva, Diva, Deva, whatever. And um, a lot of you guys ask me, how do I get that like fro? How do I do all of that? Girl, it's layers. I recommend curly girls to have layers in their head because all my curly girls know what the Christmas tree looks like. The Christmas tree hairstyle looks like. And to avoid the Christmas tree look, you want to add layers in your curls because your curls are really voluminous. Your curls are really voluminous. Your curls are really bouncy. You want to add dimension. You want to add that, um, just that look, honey. So that is my recommendation before you go following this tutorial and you're like, my hair does not look like that. Well, girl, I have layers and I recommend if you're a curly head headed girl, you need layers too. So the first thing we're going to go in with is the Diva Curl Styling Cream. This honey, I love it. I literally, I don't know, I'm going to just do it like this because I want to show you guys how much product I put in my hair. I have great pot. I start from the top and I just rake my fingers in. I just rake my fingers in and making sure I start from the roots and I'm just making sure I like to get this front part here because for for me this right here is the most driest part of my hair along with the back and my girl Sabrina who cuts my hair she told me that almost everybody has that problem everybody's dry in that spot so I'm not the only one so yeah after we rake our hair our fingers we don't yeah whatever after we rake our fingers through our hair we're next going to take the believe in miracle curl plumper again all this is going to be linked in the bio so you don't even have to worry about it i'm going to take this and i'm going to yeah Ooh. i'm going to do that and i'm going to do the same motion really you want to get underneath because that's also where I'm dry at too. My hair is really dry, but Diva Curl has been helping my hair come back to life. I tell you that much. Okay, and once that's done, the last product that I use to achieve 
that look is oh I didn't, I'm about to I'm about to put it on my hand and I haven't even showed you guys it's the light defining gel so this is soft hold no crunch styler I put that in my head and I don't know if you guys are seeing but I put a lot of this so one thing that Sabrina also told me was if you guys want day two hair you know when you could kind of like pull off a whole week of hair without like really doing it you want to put product in your hair I wasn't putting product for a while um, in my hair until I'm like damn why doesn't my hair last why doesn't my curly hair last no matter what I do it's not lasting honey it's because I wasn't putting product I was just leaving my conditioner in so use product if you're trying to really get that week in this part this step is super important guys it's your Denman brush okay Denman brush I have got this on Amazon I'm gonna link it down downstairs <laughs> I'm gonna link it down in the description below but this is literally the most important part well one of the most important parts to your little hair transformation I take little you know pieces like this it's really not rocket science guys and I just do like that but when I'm pushing it ooh. okay first of all just untangle the piece and then when you're running your Denman brush in you know when you curl your hair yeah do that and you get a really nice curl I just take little pieces just because I feel like it gives me more defined curls when I do little pieces like this and you're literally just gonna do this to your whole entire head um, yeah. I'm telling you my Denman brush was a life-changing honey life-changing it makes your curls really defined. just crunch it up a little bit and I, you guys could hear that that is the sound we're really looking for that's how you know there's enough product and your hair is wet enough and you could easily tell the difference between this side and this side this is not the Denman side and this is the Denman side it makes such a difference guys I'm not even joking with you and at this point this towel is not on my the hair my hair is not on my back anymore so I'm just gonna put this towel on my lap because I'm getting water on my you know whatever whatever works for you guys okay so we're gonna do the next side What I'm doing is I'm just scrunching and like I said this is an important part as well but you could just tell the difference in my curls okay so now again I also I also like my hair parted down the middle that's how I usually do my hair so now comes the really fun part, okay? And that is... That is this part. This is my holy grail, okay? Um, 
comment down below if you're an air drive a air dry person or a diffuser type of person i'm really both but i've really been loving this diffuser okay i never really knew how to use a diffuser weirdly but um girl this diffuser is life changing so yeah this diffuser is also going to be linked below i really like it because the hand you could just move the hand so you could get like into sorry had to shoot you real quick but um you could get into like really difficult positions that you can't really do with a regular diffuser cool setting um the cool button and then you have a cool setting then you have um, a medium heat high heat and then you have medium and high um setting whatever cool so what i do is i leave it on medium i leave my diffuser on one and i always start with medium heat crazy right medium heat and then i always finish it with cold cool okay so i like that because i feel like with cool if i use cool all the time for the whole entire thing we're going to be here for hours and i really don't want to be here for hours so we're not going to crunch up we're just going to dry the roots first first we want to just dry the roots make sure the roots are dried because that for me takes the longest to dry so let's get it that the outside of my roots are a bit dry I'm gonna go on the inside of my roots but and I lift my hair up so that I don't create frizz that I just don't want and need
okay guys so now that my roots are pretty dry i want to say that they're like 80 percent dry my roots although my like tips of my hair is still soaked we're gonna get to the fun part so what i do is i'm gonna scoot a little bit back so animated i like to put my hair like this again it all depends Oof, let me reevaluate myself it all depends on how you part your hair i like to part my hair directly in the middle so what i do is i take my hair to the sides and i just do a that type of thing okay and we're gonna go in on cool heat medium um speed Alrighty guys, so since my hair is now, I want to say like 60-65% dry, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my hair over and massage, fluff up, fluff up my curls. And this just gives me a little bit more volume that I like. I really like my hair big, as big as I could get, I try to get it. So you just flip over your hair and you're going to take from the back, right here. You're just gonna start to fluff up your hair to kind of get those curls off your scalp you don't want to do it too much because again your hair is still wet and you don't want to cause any type of frizz so i literally just do it like that and then i take my diffuser back again and i start to dry up this area a little bit more
Alrighty, so now that my hair is about 90% dry, I'm not going to diffuse it anymore because I just don't want to overdo it. It's still a little, little tiny bit damp. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just flip over my hair, run my um, fluff, up, fluff up my roots so that I can get a little bit more body. And then I'm going to actually pick out my hair. So let's do it. Do not run your fingers through your hair. That will cause a lot of frizz. Okay. And now, I'm gonna take my pick, and this is from just Con Air. You could get it at the beauty supply store, Amazon, whatever you may have you. And I'm just literally going to, boom. Fluff up the top. And this will prevent that Christmas tree look that we all love so much. Now I'm lying. I'm being sarcastic. And then you could also flip over your hair and pluck it from the bottom like this. This is my finished look. I absolutely adore my Diva Curl products. They make my hair super nice, super freaking poppin' defined body, honey, body, body, body. And yeah, that is my routine. Everybody's been asking me, so boom, boom, I gave it to you. But anyways, guys, um, Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Comment down below if this helped you. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, and concerns. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. And also, let me know if you guys want a how to keep, how to style your hair for day two, or how to do day two hair, or how to make your hair last. Comment down below if you want that. If you want more hair tutorials, hair stuff, makeup stuff, I don't know. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week.